Okay, greetings everyone. Happy Halloween. It, this world. Uh, it is October 17, 2024. And happy Halloween. Uh, I wanted to do a showcase of my haunted house. This is the one that I had to tear down um, because one of the pieces got sunk into the rock somewhere down here. It, it is okay now, but the only way to fix that when something gets you know, stuck inside a, a wall or something and not not a wall of your creation but a wall of existing house or in a rock or something um, or a tree even but the only way to fix that is by uh, replacing the camp so I had to do that so as you can see it's different we're in the back side of it uh, before we actually get started um, what were the few things I wanted to mention? Oh, one of the things I wanted to talk about, uh, in addition to give a huge shout out to my good friend, uh, Slice of Scott. Uh, he said he was willing to uh, run a campaign, a Dungeons and Dragons campaign, for you know uh, my channel, his channel, or any, I guess anyone else that uh, wants to join in and record uh, tabletop D and D. And now I forgot what he said the campaign was. I think he said uh, Ravenloft. It was like a Ravenloft campaign. And it could take, you know, something like maybe two, maybe three sessions. But I think he also mentioned, because I said possibly one other friend, uh, um, Mike. But I don't know. I have to hear back from him first about that. Because he said, you know, if it's going to take months or you know weeks it would be too long for him but if there could be maybe like a one and a half or two hour session maybe he could be okay with that but we will see you know maybe if it's a like a two hour and a, a, a two a two time session i don't know how long that would be maybe a couple hours a piece but uh if anyone else is interested in joining uh, I'm also going to leave the link to uh, Slice of Scott's channel down below, so if you want to join that. Um, it has been, you know, not since my 20s have I played, you know, tabletop Dungeons and Dragons, so um, this, this is very exciting for me, and I will record it. Uh, I don't know how I can do the format. I know there are ways that people can show their faces in the corners and maybe have a picture in the center or something like that so if we could figure something out you know uh, we can each record the session and that way you can you know just see it from uh, maybe it might be a little almost the same thing but you know everyone will have a different background and maybe have things positioned differently and you can just watch it on you know whoever's channel that you know you favor or that is maybe your favorite uh, you know youtuber but if anyone's interested in joining, uh, you know, I guess we're going to need a Discord, and I don't know exactly when. You know, I guess, I guess uh, when we have sufficient amount of people that want to play, I'm guessing maybe about maybe four, maybe or let's say anywhere between maybe three to five people if we can get, you know, get them that want to play. Uh, Valandorel, I know you said you have no experience with. Uh, you know Dungeons and Dragons tabletop but this could be your chance to maybe try it out for the first time especially if it's only going to be like a couple hour session or you know maybe two sessions that are about a couple hours long maybe you'll be okay with that okay also this video might might be uh, the last one for a while that's going to be recent I have a bunch of other Skyrim uh, let's plays that are coming out over the course of October, November, December, uh, and uh, you know that that have been recorded, you know, some two, maybe three months ago. So you know that it will seem like there's really no break, but uh, you know, I guess I just need to take a little rest or something, okay? And um, uh, of course, unless 
we start doing the uh, the Dungeons and Dragons whenever we get that done that will be the next you know new thing that I upload the other thing is I want to uh, you know make a is it a, make a plea or is it make a plea or make a plead make a plead or plea to people um, that play Fallout 76 if you have something the the plan for the motorized butter churn motorized butter churn uh, I would be very very interested in either if, if you're willing to donate it to me that's all the better but if there's various kind of plans that you're looking for and I have them uh, one of the things I have now is uh, a spare um, vintage of water cooler so if that interests you I can give that to you uh, the gold I have not gold but caps I have right now I don't have a lot I only have 6,415 uh, but if you want all of it I will, I will give it all to you but I think only one time I saw at a, a, a camp a person's camp uh, he was selling it for only 1500 and um, I thought that wasn't the thing I was looking for and I passed it up. I thought I was looking for the nodding donkey but that's uh, attainable uh, through the crown shop but it's gone right now so when it comes back I'll have to get that as well. But basically I go to uh, you know camp, camp to camp and I go to the ones that have plan. If you look see on the bottom there it says plan. You see weapon, weapon, stim pack, explosive. You see on the right column on the bottom plan, he has 146 plans. So, you know, and for example, this person has 59 plans. This person has 33. So I go to all these places and I check what they have for sale. And hopefully it's for a reasonable price, one that I can afford. But if you have a spare one, please, I would greatly appreciate that. And I would, of course, give you a shout out. Um, if you make YouTube videos, of course, I'm going to shout you out. Uh, which I guess this makes a good um, a good segue into this uh, you know um, how can I phrase this um, yeah you know I will continue to n n shout people out um, no matter what you know I'm, I remember when I had only you know three or four hundred subscribers under 500 and I would still continue to shout people out and you know um, request some of my uh, YouTube friends if they don't mind to shout me out. I had one person that had a problem with that and it, this person was my friend and this person seemed nice but I think this person developed a big head where they, he, he said something like um, well if I subscribe to you and, and shout you out then I'll have to do the same for everyone else. Uh, that's I don't know something about that that sounds um, kind of arrogant or kind of cruel you know to say something like that like you think you are you're superior to others oh well you know if I if I shout you out and if I subscribe to you then I'm going to have to subscribe to everyone else you know that kind of thing but yet I notice he has no problems supporting or shouting out other people that are big channels as well I don't have a lot myself you know I only have you know 1200 but um, no matter what, whether I have 1,200, 10,000, half a million subscribers, I'm going to continue to support the little guy. The big guys too, but they don't need it. Of course, you know, I'll mention them, but you know, they, they don't need it. It's the ones that are struggling with under 100 subscribers, 100, a few hundred, and um, even though you know, it may not be important to them, like they don't care, I still think it's nice to be able to at least achieve a thousand to be able to monetize. I've said it before in the past and I still feel this way. Uh, I, I've had people even uh, you know somewhat recent within the past uh, year or two uh, a female that you know she would watch and uh, you know not, not just me but like some other channels that people that I'm friends with here on YouTube and uh, no longer you know comes by and you know comments or anything ever since her channel blew up when she had only maybe 600 700 of course she will do it to get exposure on her channel but once she got that exposure and achieved well over a thousand she forgets about the little guy and I don't like people like that. I, I don't like it when people do that you know I'm I'm, I'm sorry to report but uh, it is the honest truth 
Um, so uh, all I have to say is, you know, to, to everyone, if you're small and um, somehow through a miracle you achieve two, three, five k, ten k subscribers and become a very popular channel and very famous. Please do not forget where you come from. In the words of Nathan Fillion, uh, who played Caleb uh, in Buffet of Empire Slayer, seventh season. I don't understand. Do you think I'm God? It's the first in taking the visage of Buffy. Oh no, I'm way past beyond God and the devil. But you are certainly are some power. And he goes, but you still wear the uniform. See, he's wearing the priest garbs, you know, and the priest collar and the priest outfit. Well, man can't forget about where he come from now, can he? So, a person cannot forget about where they come from. So please, please. Okay. Um, so now, let's get on with the tour. So, uh, you know, it's not perfect. It doesn't have everything that I want. As I said, you know, I want to get that uh, butter churn and I want to purchase the, the uh, nodding donkey. And I would put them next to this uh, oil extractor, you know, just to get even more oil. Let's go up to the front. As you can see, I'm using the uh, Atlantic Fog um, weather station, you know, the one with the dice spinning. Turn on my, it's a fog machine, but it's, it's more like a, a black fog bat machine, as you can see. This is more than just my Halloween house, I forgot to mention, it's a, a, a haunted Christmas home. What did it call? Gorb's haunted Christmas house, you see. Here's the exterior. So it's it is quite different. You know, it's it's like the nightmare before Christmas almost. You might be able to tell it's different from the last exterior one that I did. And this one you have to actually hit it a second time before you actually see the ghost come out. Sometimes even two, three times. There. So. I don't know why that is, but... It's a funny thing. It is a uh, outhouse. With a molar wrap coming out of it. A couple of snow machines. go through it. go through the front so I'm far away that the um, weather station did not kick in but as you can see as I approach it the weather station comes into effect my fortune teller I have these now Halloween vending machine 
I have some things available here. So it's not a lot, but still. Feel free to come by. It's by Vault 51. The bathroom. But there are things still. I think I could lay down about five, maybe six more things. I suppose I can yeah, put some of these down. This, for example. That. Where can I put this? Uh, I suppose I can put it right over here. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. And I could put many. things go on the window or can I just put it anywhere? Put it on the door. With an autopsy machine, computer, alien, alien corpse. Uh, I, I don't know if this kind of thing is supposed to go on the window or just. The boar meat, mutated boar. Bloody curtain. Oh, yeah, look at the rug. It's a bloody rug. You see that? Okay, I really must make haste. Santa, black cat, one of the coolest items, I think. It's very cool. Pirate radio. Okay, the dining area, the turkey, and the Christmas tree. One of my newer items is this ghoul chair. Look at that. It's a zombie, basically, tied to the back of that chair. And you can actually sit on it. OK. 
Okay. The bathroom. Christmas tree. Bathroom. This is kind of like the theater. Like they had like a sofa or something. Maybe what I will add is let me see. Is it considered a chair? Case, right? I may have to change that, but we'll see. Nothing. Okay, this is just with the snow globes. I don't have enough. I think I could make one more. to the fishman's revenge. Okay, we are almost at the end of this tour. Okay. Iron Maiden. Okay. That is my bed, actually. And uh, a secret exit, which will take us out to the back. We're right back outside again. And there we are. That is my haunted house. I hope you guys enjoyed. Happy Halloween, everyone. And uh, please be sure to just, you know, 
support everyone in the community and you know especially if you become friends with people on here it's good to try to stay close with them and uh, I never forget about where you come from and I'll never forget about the little guy okay so that's it and see you